quick update on the stats. We are 19-19 total now, 116 combat, 279 quest points. Uh, at the end of the last stream video, whatever, we finished the Branches of Darkmire quest, which means we're making really, really good progress in the Vampire quest line. The biggest requirement next or needed for the follow-up quest, which I believe is Lord of Vampirium, is 79 construction. And a good way to screen construction is Croesus. What I thought we would do today is finally, hopefully, get our inaugural piece of Crypt Loom. It's, uh, it's been a little unlucky. 291 kills, the majority of those in fours, and we're just a little Crypt Loomless. And it would be very motivating for me to train crafting up and, you know, train defense up if, you know, we actually had some Crypt Loom. Because the other thing I want to do pretty soon is I want to do uh, City of Seniston, get Anime Dead. But right now, I'm wearing full Lunar. That's the best gear I have. That's not tank gear. So Enemy Dead, it's not really worth risking my account and going for at this current juncture, I can speak, because the play is Crypt Loom. Keeping the hard crying man safe with Crypt Loom is extremely important, which is why it's been a priority for us throughout this series. But what if there was a way to slap some Crypt Loom on every single device you use that connects to the internet? Well, you can't. But the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN, is the closest thing you're going to get to that. A VPN or virtual private network establishes a secure, encrypted, safe connection between your device and the internet. This makes it infinitely more difficult for a bad actor to access your device and see what you're doing. And it also makes it much more difficult for your internet service provider or ISP to access and sell your data. Which, unbelievably, is actually a thing that is legal in most countries, including the United States, and actually happens. Not only is a VPN just a good thing to have for security reasons, but it's also the easiest and fastest way to get around area-restricted content. I'm from Canada, but last week I was in Los Angeles for a Twitch event, and I wanted to fire up some Netflix. To my dismay, American Netflix is just not the same as it is back home. So with the click of a button, I can open up NordVPN, I can immediately put myself back in Canada, and access the Canadian Netflix that I know and love. Nord also has a 30-day money-back guarantee because they feel that they offer a really high quality product that you're gonna like. If you're interested in checking out NordVPN, you can follow the link in the description down below, the pinned comment, or on screen. It's nordvpn.com forward slash rsguy. NordVPN is also offering a massive discount to those that follow my link. Once again, thank you very much Nord for sponsoring the video. And with that said, let's get back into it. That's 67 farming, let's freaking go. Thank you, sorry, continue. Yeah, that was great. That's level 68 crafting coming in. Woohoo. Thank you, Omen. If what are you doing? You're gaining farming levels and craft levels? What are you doing? I'm doing my dailies. Okay, okay. Go on, sorry. Um, and then they see themselves not doing a ton of damage. Right. Right, yeah. I also, um, okay, so before I move on, like, uh, yep. I changed my mind on the tooltip thing. I actually think sure. visual clarity would be the biggest thing for me. Visual so clarity. I'm talking about like animation stalls, certain aerial effects not uh, representing the actual area that they hit and stuff. Like for example, if I told you, if I put you in Virago Rockfall, right, like the rock phase, and I showed you a shadow of the rock, would you be able to tell me the exact squares that were safe and the exact squares that were not? Well, like you might, but like. Um. Yeah. No. I. I agree. All right. Start linking stuff. It's Did I win? I actually am starting to hate this boss. <laughs> Bro, I couldn't equip it when I had one. Look at this log! I gotta dual wield them? That's actually pain. That is level 79. We're getting in three more levels until we have one of the two requirements for the full torch. Well, the full torch is, I guess. Oh boy, I better not get a third one. That is 77 construction coming in. We can finally create the flame pit oubliette we were looking for so that I can die to fire in another way. Also, that is 82 Hunter. Not too bad. Honestly, not shabby at all. One of my highest skills now at this point. All right, here we go. Someone's getting a drop. <laughs> you got the sack. I don't have to spin the wheel because that's not someone else getting Crypt Loom. So I actually, I feel great about you receiving the sack. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How are we doing? It is day. I have lost count of the Hard Crying Man Adventure. Uh, currently checking in at level 80 woodcutting, which means um, we need 10 fletching levels, obviously, and I need one and a half woodcutting levels. And then we can actually use one of our two Croesus full torches, which is going to be sick because that is going to make Croesus a whole lot easier. So I'm hoping we're in the last couple days, like maybe a day or two before the point where, uh, yeah, we're going to be all good to go. We are going to have a much, much, much easier time at Croesus. We've got to do some dailies. We've got to do some shop runs. And we've also got to do some weeklies 
And there's an, a weekly that I'm gonna be adding to the rotation, which is I wanna do the gold shattered worlds challenge because I would like to passively go for bladed dive um, because I know that will also help with a lot of what we're doing. You need bladed dive. We cannot be an end game PVMer without bladed dive. So kind of been dreading doing it, not really looking forward to it, but let's get it done. That is level 80 herb boy coming in. We actually, that's a big level. Wait, that's the lay within and river of blood Rex done. I went to world 2 GE today to buy a Bolg. It was crazy. One of my PVME pals bought one on world 2 GE for 6.4, which is like, that's really affordable based on the prices. And then for 20 minutes, I proceed to get gaslit by mercher after mercher. So anyway, basically they tried to gaslight me, gatekeep me and girl boss me. And they always do this thing where they PM me and they're like, hey, friendo, hey, buddy, hey, pal, you seem really nice. So we can do, uh, we could do seven bill flat for, for you today. And I'm like, I know it's cheaper than that. So anyway, it was like the worst 20 minutes of my life, but eventually I actually got a, a fair price. And how I got a fair price was someone said pay 6.7. So I said buying both 6.6, .6, right? They trade me, I put in 6.6. .6. And then they PM me and they say 6.7. So then you know what I did? This is the art of the deal by Mr. Guy. Do you know what I said? I said no. And then they hit accept. I am a master negotiator. So anyway, I got my bow for 6.6. .6. Big. That is level 57, which means we can actually get the Darok Relic. Wait, really? Wait, maybe we should like do that. Oh yeah, but we've got we've got no log progress because we haven't actually trained this skill yet. So yeah, maybe later, but still glad we got that done. Please, something for someone. I hope coach gets a drop for putting up with this hour so far. <laughs> Why do I speak again? Why did I say that? I should have said, I hope I get a drop for putting up with, I don't know, the struggles of life. I'm out of wood. Bro, Beaver, you're actually so cringe. This Beaver is so cringe. We need more at your oh yeah, now you give me a log. Thank you so much. Your timing is so opportune. Just the moment I needed a log to burn. Are we out of restores? No, what would make you think that? Guys, we're, we're out of restores. We're already 83, Hunter. What a great boss. I'm sure we're gonna be 99 before we have full crypt bloom anyway. So, you know, in a way it doesn't really matter, but 78 construction coming right up means one more level until we have the construction wreck for Lord of Imperium and River of Blood. 61 fire making coming in. That gets me pretty much nothing. Great. All right, team, it's time to end the sadness. I agree. Actually, I mean, I'm not terribly sad. I think this is going fine. We're doing the thing that we need to do to get drops. And I think my contribution scores have been quite good. But also the real answer to did you get crypt is ask me that in 30 seconds. With a contribution score like this, probably 600, there's no way we don't get crypt bloom, copium. Did I win? <laughs> well, I guess we're running it back. Eight mil. I like the GP though. The GP is actually very helpful. What are the gems too? Yeah. This is good. We're doing the right thing. You have done it. <laughs> Enjoy this victory, Amazing! Wait, did Fitma and Shovma get scriptures of Bic on the same day? Do I need to change my name? I would change my name to RSN Placema, as in Placema drop into your collection log. That is level 8400 coming in. Inching my way towards maybe getting my first drop from this place. 11 mil chest, now it's gonna be 12. It's gonna be 12. Ready? Oh, 12. Yeah, it's that easy. Um, dude, look at this. Look at this loot. I did a bunch of skilling off stream and I'm now level 82 wood cutting and I'm also level 74 fletching. And what that means is with spicy stew boosts across the board, I can actually make and use my Krosis full torches. Well, really one of them, having two is completely pointless, but that is gonna be absolutely sick. It's gonna mean that we no longer get bodied by the sticky fungus. I don't have to bring logs anymore. It's gonna make our kills a lot better, a lot cleaner. Should help me max out my reputation score every single time, regardless of RNG. But it's gonna be really, really big. So the first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna get this thing locked and loaded, ready to roll. In three, in two, in one. 
<laughs> if you only look at a single level, unlucky. I'm tired of not having Crippling. We really need it to proceed on the account properly. I am making the executive decision that we're just gonna, we're just gonna full send it here. None of this, like an hour or two a day. Like we need, we need to get Crippling. I need it done. So first thing we're gonna do is boost Hunter. Grab five Fungal Spurs. Then we're gonna do the same with Woodcut. And we're gonna boost from 82 to 88. And then uh, as soon as we've got, I believe it's five and five. Yeah, we can, uh, we can make a full torch. Three and two and one. Bro, first try? All right, that's one. That's two. Wait, the XP on this is insane. Wait, is it actually just like this? Okay, so that's that's done. That was really quick. <laughs> All right, let's do the woodcutting ones. We have only one try for this, so it's looking like we're gonna be paying Evil Dave a visit, but watch us first try it. We actually first tried it. Oh, today is such a good day. What a beautiful day. Okay, this seems slightly less poggers. I'm not gonna lie. But hey, at least we're able to attempt it. Give me one before I have to lobby, please. Give me one. Don't know. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Please. <laughs> please. Just give me one. Give me one and I'll feel really good about having one. You know? Yes, let's go. Okay, that's one. Get out of the hop. Oh, wait, we're done. Easy. Okay. I need 80 fletching to actually craft a thing. Okay, so let's get a fletching boost to 80. And then, uh, yeah, we can build Sanya's full torch. Wait, we only have one attempt. If we first try this, <laughs> if we do, we're getting crippling today. Okay, unlucky. All right, Evil Dave, I'm gonna pay you a visit. Wait, Orange Spice for two more attempts. This could be it right here. That's it. All righty, and that is Sanya's fire torch. Done. That's so sick. And this thing just counts as a log, right? So anytime it gets sticky fungus, I don't need logs anymore. I just click. Dude, I'm gonna have so much more fun with this. I'm really, really excited. Like, actually, this could be unreal. Alrighty, let's go to Croesus. So this is what you guys, you could have picked anything on planet Earth to order for me. And this is what you guys picked. Bro, look at this kid. He looks, what's going on gamers? <laughs> I'm a little disappointed at this one. You guys had unlimited budget up to $150,000. And you chose, of anything you could, you chose this. The nose is kind of fun though. I'm not gonna lie. I cut my lip blowing it up, but it was worth it. That is 79 construction, which was actually my goal. That's uh, one of the last decks I have for Lord of Vampirium, which is the next, uh, the next quest for us in the Vampire series. Alrighty, let's see if this was a dry hour or if uh, if it's about to rain. Oh, congrats on the sack. All right, loot from one hour of Croesus. Yo, that's, uh, this boss is just, like, I know we're going dry and it sucks that we've done whatever, over 300 of these with nothing, but the comments here are so insane. Like, just the Herbler XP we're gonna get, and the Crafting XP, and the alchemy like, it's it's actually just ridiculous. It's so good. Y'all know what time it is? It's time to start another kill, obviously. What, you guys thought I was gonna say drop time? It's never drop time. I don't know what you're talking about. What are my hobbies? Um, my main hobbies include playing RuneScape, and getting level 85 Hunter. Wait, that's actually a big level. Wait, you take those. I'm feeling good about this kill. I don't know why, I just, I have a, a, a strong belief that I'm going to get a... Again? Bro, he's had three with me. Three of them. I'm sorry. Um, I'm so happy for you and proud of you and thankful that you were able to receive a drop from Croesus on this fine day. All right. He's collecting his loot. I got to spin the Wheel of Pain. No! Bro, I haven't even had any water yet. This is eight cups of water. I've not had a single clue scroll today. I don't know what's going on. Oh, pfft, just kidding. It's okay. We got the 80% uh, drop rate increase for complaining. And he drops. It's going to be no, isn't it? <sighs> Again? Okay, congrats on the... I haven't even done my last wheel spin. And I have to do another. Oh, we're fine. We're safe. We're safe. All right, who wants a sub? I will happily spend $7 to not have to do soaking wet push-ups. That is 71 mining. 
which I feel quite good about actually. And I MVP'd as well. Huge. You have done oh my god, yes! Finally! Yes! Yes, dude! Come on! We've been here for like 30 hours! Yes! Actually, more than... No, we've been here for like 50 hours! Oh, let's freaking go! Oh, that looks so good in there. Mm, I'm just gonna look at it. I'm just gonna look at it! Yes, dude! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so freaking fired up, dude. 84 crafting, and then we're gaming. I am gonna be an unkillable Giga Chad. That is so sick. That's so sick. 84 crafting, and then we now have our, our play body for the rest of the series. That's my first piece in 360 kills. Just tall. Just as tall as it, as tall as they come. All right, we run it back. We need another. Life was so bad, and now life is so good. And if we get extra tops too, the other reason it's the best drop you can get is if I get a duplicate top, it just becomes 700 mil on my main account that I drop trade. So even getting a dupe top is sick. Cause like if you get boots, right? The dupes just are kind of soul destroying. 86 hunter coming in. Finally catch yellow salamanders. Inching our way closer to 90, which will probably be our first port skill. That is level 80 construction coming in. Just a lot of gaming happening today. This is so much water. Reminder that if you would like to, you can subscribe. Oh, I'm so cold. All right, give me a second to just change out. I'm so cold. Great. Awesome. 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 Uh, yeah, let's go to Curses.